Public Health Solutions, or PHS, is one of the oldest nonprofit organizations in New York City. We know just a handful of neighborhoods have some of the largest health and economic disparities. Brownsville, Brooklyn, the South Bronx, Southeast Queens. More than half of the people that we serve reside in just these few neighborhoods. Everyone in New York needs access to good health care. By the time most people turn to, to health care, their health is in crisis and their lives are cut short. There are systemic problems in New York City, huge problems that we're not fixing. Hunger, malnutrition. This housing situation. Substance abuse problems. Very poor maternal health. Hundreds of thousands of New Yorkers avoid health care. There were like a million things going on in my head. I was like, I didn't even know where to go. Our system of care is broken, fragmented, and difficult to navigate. We must, we must do better. PHS is trying to bridge the gap. We're everywhere where the needs are great. We're in Bushwick, in Corona, Queens, Bronx, East Harlem. We're everywhere. We have two centers in Brooklyn. You are at the Sexual and Reproductive Health Center at Fort Greene. And we provide comprehensive sexual and reproductive health care. Kelly? Hi. There you go, my darling. So this is your, your cup that you're going to give us a specimen in. Okay. And you know where the restroom is? Yes. Okay. This has been a clinic that has been part of New York City for over 65 years. You can come in to have sexual transmitted infection treatments, testings, mental health counseling. When you care for someone, you have to care for them as a whole person, not just a part of them. Is this your first time here? Yeah. I was just super nervous. Was, I didn't know like if they were gonna be mean, if they were gonna judge me or anything. Our population is mostly women of color who are between the ages of 18 and 40. We have a woman who comes in who's pregnant and who's 16 and doesn't have anywhere else to go. We will provide the care that they need. What makes our center special it's definitely our staff, our people. Please have a seat. Thank and again, you. you're welcome. It's very important that we have folks who emulate and who look like our patients. I did it for nine months, and I did it but I believe I hear you saying is that. We're a family here, so the patients are like family to us as well. Uh, what day? My mom used to come here, yes. Our clients are generally people that lack social support, are low income. We really don't like people to have to prove anything about themselves to access our services. Kind of embarrassing, you know? I'm really glad this place is a bit more discreet. Folks come in that might be depressed. So we might ask them, do you have a safe place to sleep tonight and does your family have enough food? Making people feel comfortable about seeking the services that they need, that is what our participants get when they walk into a PHS location. A lot of the disparities that we see in health relate to the fact that the system treats them badly and they have no trust. So when we hear about problems, we are immediately looking for that solution. That program, pull together the resources and the people, and get out into the community to make sure that we're providing what is needed. In maternal child health, we have nine home visiting programs. We'll go and work with the family long term in their home so that they can be the best parent they can be. Maybe she doesn't speak English. I have people speaking Russian, French, Haitian, Creole, Bengali, Hindi, and Tibetan, and Nepali. One of the biggest challenges we face is how to take these really effective community-based programs and scale it up. We partner with local schools, local elected officials who share in our views and values. We meet people where they are. Your results are negative. Public Health Solutions was recently named by the state the social care network for Brooklyn, Queens, and Manhattan. We have a very exciting opportunity. We are going to go from supporting tens of thousands of individuals to hundreds of thousands. I'm gonna get a care package. What if we could begin to talk to people? Do they have enough food to put on the table for their family? 
Have they been able to get to the appointments? And the hot and cold compress. Okay. Call you NYC is over 200 community-based organizations. Real-time communication, real-time collaboration, closing the loop. Eliminate the differences between the haves and the have-nots. We were faced with not having the funds to keep operating. We can't live on the government grant funding alone. So we need funding from everyone. We've served over 135,000 New Yorkers. I love how you grow with the patient. Because sometimes patients need somebody who can say, hey, everything is okay, we're here for you. These donations have huge impact on people who desperately need help. Every person that walks through that door, they're seen and they're heard. And we want to be their voice. It's extremely inspiring. I am so proud of what we do.